Hey guys, in this video, let's see some important questions in computer communication networks. Module 1. Module 1 is introduction, data communication and data representation, data flow, network criteria, LAN, WAN and then network models and data link layer. So here, the very first important question is half duplex, full duplex and simplex communication. And then different topologies in the communication network repeatedly asked in the exams. And circuits and packet switch networks also asked many times. TCP IP protocol suit, layers in that, and OSI model, and the uh, discussion of differences between the OSI and TCP IP also asked many times. And then coming to the data link layer, explain communication at the data link layer. IP address and link layer address in small internet and explain address resolution protocol, ARP protocol. So these are very important and these are the questions took from the previous exams of computer network subject. So apart from this, you may get other questions also, but these are the questions I took from the previous exams and repeatedly asked. Coming to module two, data link control services Control, uh, connecting devices and wired wireless LAN. Here, explain flow and error control is very important. And here, the procedure for pure Aloha protocol and you may get problems on pure Aloha also on the throughput. And CSMA, CSMA CD, CSMA CA are repeatedly asked in any question paper if you see computer networks. This is very important. Spanning tree algorithm. And then VLAN, explain uh, how VLAN uh, architecture and, and the things related to that. Ethernet protocol, frame structure and addressing can be asked or to explain the Ethernet protocol can be asked. For any protocol, the frame structure is very important. If you have uh, multiple uh, protocols here, the frame structures of any one of those will be asked for sure. And compare the architecture of wired LAN and wireless LAN, how the architecture of wired and wireless LAN will be. So these are few of the important questions I took from the previous exam question papers. Coming to module three, it is network layer and the network layer protocols and routing. So communication at the network layer is very important here. And also packetizing and routing forwarding concepts also may be asked. And packet switching datagram approach or virtual circuit approach can be asked. IPv4 addressing is very, very important. In this uh, module, IPv4 and both IPv6 is there. So IPv4 packet are the uh, format or datagram. IPv6 datagram or packet format is very important here. And uh, IP datagram, operation of dynamic host configuration protocol, DHCP can be asked. And Digcaster algorithm, if you see any question paper of computer architecture, this question will be there. So Digcaster algorithm is very, very important. You can easily expect this. And also you may <clears throat> get other uh, routing questions also. And you may get other questions related to the network layer and protocols. But these are very important here. Coming to module four, here the transport layer and uh, transport layer protocols. So transport layer services is the first, very first question we can expect. And connection less and connection oriented protocols can be asked. And there are transport layer protocols like simple protocol, stop and wait protocol, go back and protocol. So uh, selective repeat protocol and piggybacking. These are very, very important questions. Out of this, you can expect one or two questions easily. And then coming to UDP, UDP services, user datagram protocol and transmission control protocol services can be asked. And as included, um, as mentioned in the syllabus itself, exclude FSMs for CIE and SE. It means you no need to write the FSMs uh, uh, for these protocols or the services. And then error control can be asked and TCP congestion control can be asked. So these are the very important concepts you are not supposed to miss in your preparation for exam. Coming to module five, application layer. Here application layer paradigms explain HTTP and FTP are repeatedly asked. You may ask to uh, explain briefly or explain you know, with some diagram like that. 
explain the architecture of email and DNS domain name system and its purpose of DNS, why it is required and discuss the security goals and attacks and flow control to improve the quality of service. So these are the questions and these are the very theoretical uh, block diagram and explanation or the algorithm or protocol related questions which are repeatedly asked in previous exams. You can easily expect these questions if you see the previous exam question papers or the model papers. So with these you may get other questions also um, but these are very important for exam and you can easily expect these questions in this time examination also. And you may expect questions on Aloha like this. A pure Aloha network transmits 200 bit, per bit frames on shared channel of 200 kbps. What is the throughput of the throughput if the system produces 1000 frames per second, 500 frames per second, 250 frames per second. This is the problem which is there in your prescribed test book and there is a solution for that also. The test book PDF download link which I have given in the description of this video. You can go through that. Thank you.